Oh, wow. Don't be pulling up on me if you ain't ready to get done up. This is so crazy. So, I'm trying to take a walk to the store because I don't want to drive my car. It's a nice, cool night. And I just live like two blocks. So, I'm taking a walk, strolling, you know, whoop, whoop, doing my business. I'm not even worried about these people that's pulling by, pulling up, you know, just driving. So, oh my goodness. So, it's two dudes in this truck start creeping. They start creeping by driving real slow and suddenly the dude stop and say hey little mama can I give you a ride somewhere I'm like excuse me sir no no thank you I don't get in a car with strangers none of that but you have a nice night mm -hmm. whoop de boo so I'm trying to walk off and this dude gonna get an attitude talking about when I'm talking to you you stop and you pay attention Skirt! Did you really? What? Oh my goodness. I'm not going to jump fly. I'm going to stay. I'm going to keep it cool because it's two of y'all and it's one of me. And right now I ain't about to try to do all that. So, he looking at me. I'm looking at him. I say, you know what? Can one of y'all pull off and the other come, come closer? Because I'm going to grill you. I'm going to drop you right in your throat with one drop kick. Because you dead ass wrong. Seriously. Okay. So, this what happened next. So, I started strutting, strutting, strutting. Because he didn't pull it off. Because he mad. I'm talking all flying crazy to him, right? So, another another cool another cool dude stopped and he like oh excuse me are you okay it's too late for you to be walking out here oh excuse me i'm grown not a child i don't need you to uh tell me anything but you have a nice night he get an attitude like oh i was just trying to help you out you the one walking whoop de whoop de woo got an attitude talking fly now people Am I wrong? Am I in the wrong? Because when I want to walk down the street, I want to walk down the street and I don't need no uh, people talking to me. I don't need people stopping. I don't need people offering me no ride. I don't need people trying to, you know, screw me. All you trying to do, you see some legs, two legs walking and you trying to put your wiener between them. That's all that be when women be walking down the street and men be stopping. Y'all need to cut that out. Y'all need to stop. Y'all not trying to help nobody. So, I get to the store, right? And I got two bags. Because, you know, I'm a female. And you know when females go to the store, what we do. You can't just pick up one thing. You can't even just pick up two things or even three things. When you get to the store, you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. Probably stuff you don't even much need. But we ain't going to go there. So, I got two big bags, and I'm walking. Like, big bags, not, they full, too, because I got a lot of stuff. So, I'm walking, and this dude talking about, oh, excuse me, can I help you? Can I take you somewhere? I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this this one time. Get in the car with a stranger and see what happened. Why I did that, fam? Why I did that? Oh, my goodness. To be real quick about what I'm about to say. So, I get in the car. I'm chopping it up real cool. Like, I ain't tripping. He ain't tripping. So, he say, ma'am, I'm doing this for one reason. You know what that reason is? I'm like, no, what? Because I just want to fuck you. What? I had mad respect for him, and I'm going to tell you why. Because he came straight out and was upfront and real about it. He kept it 100. So, I feel like I had to put respect on that. I said, you know what, little daddy? I'm not going to even trip and talk foul to you. You know what? I respect that you were straight up and honest. 
But you not finna get no none of this cootie cat. Not today, not ever. But you can drop me off at my house and have a good night. I give you that. <laughs> so why this dude got mad and said, girl, please. Skirt! Pulled over to the side. Mm-hmm. He showed it. He pulled over like a block away from my house. Tell me I get out. Excuse me? Did you tell me to get out with these two bags? I said, hold up. First of all, I'm too pretty to be walking anywhere. And number two, I feel like you picked me up so you going to drop me off. Point blank, period. He's talking about, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you you right, you right. Where you stay at? I said, I'm not going to tell you directly where I stay because I don't know you and I don't trust you. But you can drop me a couple of houses down the street from where I live. That way you don't know exactly where I live. And he was talking about, man, all right, I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. So I closed the door. He started driving, creeping real slow. I uh told him, okay. I live like a few houses down, so you can just drop me off right here. And he was like, bet. He talking about, me, you a cute little old thing, but you got a nasty attitude. What? How? I got to Okay. Okay, fam. I ain't going to even trip on that, because sometimes my attitude be whack, but it be on purpose. It be for a main objective. You know, you feel me? So, anyway. <laughs> I actually told him to drop me a few houses down, but that was actually my house. But he didn't know that. See? Game. Okay. But, yeah. So, I go in the house, take all my stuff out, and I get a knock on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Who at my door at 10 o'clock at night? So, I go to the door. I got burglar boys on my house and a security gate. So I'm talking through the security gate like, okay, who are you? What you want? You got balls to pull up to somebody's house and knock on their door in the middle of the night. People just don't do that these days. I mean, you go into somebody's house, you don't know, go in the daytime. But besides that matter. So I'm standing there chopping it up and he was like, actually asked him a few times okay who are you why are you trying to talk to me and he was like oh i'm old boy from earlier the one in the truck i'm the one driving you was getting into it so i could fly with old other dude but i'm the driver and you was a cute little thing so i just wanted to talk to you I said, okay, well, how did you know where I stay? He said, oh, we followed you to Walgreens. We seen you hop in a car with another dude, and we seen you get dropped off. These days, fam, the moral of the story is you got to be real careful because you never, ever, ever know who watching you at any given moment. That's my time, yo. Peace out. Keep it gravy.